I'm very excited for this. I cannot wait. We're about to abseil together. off a cliff in Israel together. I am, I'm feeling euphoric. Holding hands. Yes. I'm going to sing a nice song. We are. We're going to sing on our way down. And we may even have and a kiss halfway through. And we're going to have a blast. We will. I was abseiling. It was really fun. Quite challenging too. Never done anything quite like it, to be honest. Amazing. It's amazing, yes. Amazing. Best experience of my life. So really good experience. Good. I'm feeling fab fantastic. Like, so good. To go up I know, I'm nervous. Quite scary. <laughs> yeah, but it's been really fun so far. It's been amazing, like meeting yeah. all the people from everywhere. It's a great experience. All around, the, everyone, all the friends, everyone. It's great. My name is Jacob and you know what I've got. What oh, have you got? got? I've got a harness that is tight as tight. How tight, tight as tight. tight. Batman and Superman. Can't, can't, take the heat. can't take the heat like Charlie can. Super Jerome. I just don't think you understand. Super Jerome. Super Jerome. Super Jerome. I think it's, it's been an incredible trip. I've met so many new people, and we've done so many cool activities, activities which I never thought I'd be doing. I think Israel is a wonderful place. It's our homeland. Uh, it holds so much heritage for all of us Jews. <laughs> Today is a good day. Have a good day. It's been amazing. We've only been here for about four days, but we've got to do so many cool, interesting things. really enjoying tour because you get to meet loads of new different people who you have things in common with and you get to discuss being Jewish in your religion which is really exciting and you get to learn new things. It's very nice, it's been educational, learning about Zionism as well and we're all having lots of fun meeting other tours. Being around like Jewish people and like Israelis and stuff um, it's nice, it's different than back home because obviously it's not the same environment than here and I feel like it, it makes you feel comfortable and like it's heartwarming. I'm here in Jerusalem. I've come to the Yad Vashem Museum about the Holocaust. And just being through there, it's been completely emotional. Seeing how many people have actually been affected by it is immense. Yeah, no, I thought it was really moving. I thought it, you know, kind of, the word six million is used so, so much, but you don't actually get a grasp of it to see the shoes, to see, to see the faces and, and to reread the stories of people who who had been, you know, experiencing extreme anti-Semitism just really kind of made you realise how lucky we are to be able to have the land of Israel and to be able to have, you know, been able to, you know, go out into the streets and be Jewish and not, not be scared of each other. Going forward now, I know, be more grateful of stuff and be more aware of, you know, your Jewish identity and. I can feel a lot stronger. I think it's really amazing that we've been educated on something that needs to be remembered. And the fact that we've got to this point shows how strong we are as a community. And yeah, so I think it was a really good experience. It's amazing, we're having so much fun so far. Um, very excited to do, see, what's, see what, we're, what else we're going to do. We're Madrigan for FZY. Yeah. It's a Zionist, pluralist youth movement. 
so accepting of everyone. It's the best youth movement in the world, and we absolutely love it. It was so much fun. Incredible. It was so much fun. I loved it. Well, after being here in Israel, it's really eye-opening to see the different aspects which I've been missing out on at home and can hopefully uh, take part in the future. But it's uh, about the, um, the Bedouin tents where back in the day, uh, a tribe, this is how they lived. So we're experiencing you know, how they lived. So it's very interesting. My friend Yasin, he lived up to these days in a tent. He will serve you now the sweet herbal tea. It's very tasty and healthy. And after that, he will serve you the coffee. Our coffee is very, very strong. Again, very, very strong, bitter, without any sweet with cardo. Our coffee is a ceremony. It's really enjoyable. Uh, the activities they put on is really um, like, enjoyable, and get, everyone gets involved. Um, and that you actually teach a lot. It's very, very educational. Now I think I've kind of made friends for life, and so I'm really excited to meet other people from other tours as well. You find so many different people here in Israel from all different backgrounds and it's so interesting and fascinating just to hear their stories and why they are uh, in this you know, holy land. But now that I've done this tour, it's really eye-opening and I definitely feel that um, I'll be getting involved in the near future when I'm back in England. But yeah, the work they do is very good with uh, young children. We're in the middle of the desert and like they're on the south of Israel and it's stunning, beautiful views. The sun is just going down, it's about to get dark, but it's gorgeous. And yeah, we're at a campsite and we're just enjoying some food and then we're gonna, well, sleep uh, on the sand. So much fun, literally having the best time ever. It's been amazing, we've done so much in such a short period of time and I'm loving it. Stunning, stunning place. Never been before. First time and loving it so far. Come here and you can see, you know, actual real things from the Bible and you can see, you know, uh, real technological advancements built from nothing 50, 70 years ago. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been really cool. Hey Sophie, let me see your bungalow, let me see your bungalow. My hands are high, my feet are low, and this is how I bungalow. My hands are high, my feet are low, and this is how she bungalow. Bungalow, bung, bungalow, bungalow, bung, bungalow. I think it's an amazing experience because we all get to share our culture together and it's so nice to experience everything, especially I've never been to Israel before, so it's so nice to see everything in one go. Really, really fun. You do so much walking, like a lot of walking and a lot of climbing, but it's all worth it because it's just a lot of fun. You get to see everything you didn't really think you'd get to see. We are in the old city of Jerusalem. We are walking around and taking it all in. I have, I'm making friends every day. Everyone's getting close very quickly and I'm enjoying it. Uh, I love the country, there's so much to do, there's so much to see. I just love the way it works. 
which is everything like, in the moment and very action packed and you make a lot of friends um, and it's different for everyone which I love as well. Uh, it's been really good, I've enjoyed the experiences and trying out new things. Uh, and I feel like it's a very like spiritual experience because this is the most holy site in Judaism and you're becoming closer to God. Um, right now we are at the Kotel. It feels really close to God, you know. It's not every day you, you get to do something like this. I've actually really enjoyed the Western Water Venice and all of the Jewish Quarter. So you've learned a lot of history and kind of, it's been the thing I consider the most to be closest to my heritage and closest to connecting myself to Judaism. It's kind of like a once in a lifetime opportunity to do all of this. I think it's really special that we all get to. I say the spirit is amazing. I say my tour is like a little family now. We've still got like just under a week left. I can just tell we're all going to be like so close afterwards. And like it's just really, really special. At the start, we, we all just focused on the football, like me and mates, because that's like that's what we spend most of our time doing. Um, but it's more about like I, I'm I'm enjoying like the team spirit and like just being with being with everyone. You know, like you, you make you made new friends in like the past two two and a half weeks, and now sort of having that uh, I guess camaraderie, like coming together and cheering like, as a side, uh, like sort of screaming at all the other tours and playing football is going to be great. Um, playing sport, like supporting each other, is going to be it's going to be like a massive environment. It's going to be sick. Our beginning started at Hebrew, now near the end. We've connected to our past, to our past, to our faith, to our land. Oh. Um, I'm so glad that I chose, especially because of Maccabea. Like it, it's been the best thing ever. Being able to, like, especially for Maccabea, we had to like force each other to work as a team, and that sounds like a bit, but it actually made us so much closer, so much faster, and I had so much more fun because we were planning and trying to get to the same place. Everyone wants us to win Maccabea, so you have so much fun, like getting together and like trying to win something that you all want to win and like that's why you came on tour to like win Maccabea like that's what you do so it's fun to be able to like share that love for like a tour FZY Maccabea 2022. We have 417 Hanahim and 40 Madrahim representing 56 different schools and 84 different synagogues. This is a grand total of 457 participants of the FZY Maccabea. Don't let this FZY Israel tour be the, the end of your FZY journey. Let this be the start or middle part of that journey. Make sure that Israel is still your home. Make sure that FZY is still your home. I've never quite seen anything quite like this. An amazing event where all you groups come together and provide this incredible ruach. 
it really is something for you for you to be proud of. If I were to describe Best of Wild in one word, it would be paradise. Fantastic. Outstanding. It's just amazing. Special. Spiritual experience. Magical. Emotional. Inspiring. United. Meaningful. Incredible. 